to really move in this day and time. Everywhere I've been going, I've been hearing preachers saying they've been preaching on the end times and preaching about what God is getting ready to do in this last season. Amen. But I want you to know, amen, that God wants to use you in this last season. Amen. We went through a whole uh, century, a whole hundred year time period where the Holy Ghost was active and rebirthed in the church. Amen. And we have to be careful that we don't treat, amen, the move of the Holy Ghost like a fad that comes and goes. Amen. But the Holy Ghost comes to rest and rule and abide in our lives forever. And sometimes we do get off track and we forget. Amen. But God wants us to wake up today. God wants us to realize that he has empowered us with himself. He has put his very presence in our lives and in our bellies. Amen. And that presence is not there for us to sit down on this. It's not there just to be there. But God has empowered us to impact this world with his kingdom. Amen. And I'm talking to you today to say, look, it is time, amen, to activate the Holy Ghost in your life. It is time, amen, to wake up and realize who you are in the kingdom. God has anointed you for such a time as this. And it's time to get up, amen, off the seat of do nothing. It's time out, amen, for sitting on our jobs and people not knowing who we are. It's time out for being in our neighborhoods and people not knowing who we are. Amen. It's time for us to speak up for the kingdom. It's time to stand up for righteousness. It's time to stand up for true holiness. God is waiting to activate. In fact, the whole earth groaneth and travaileth, waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God. And God said, wake up, sons. Wake up, daughters. I have poured out my spirit in this last day for you to prophesy, for me to show wonders in this earth, so for me to show signs, amen, in the heavens, signs, and I have called you to be a conduit for my glory to shine forth through your life, even as I anointed Moses, and he had such a glory on him, amen, that everywhere he went, people recognized the glory, God is ready to release that glory on you, get back in your prayer closet, get back into that place, and cry out to God, that God may begin, that the portals of heaven may begin to open up and you will be that conduit that God flows through amen to impact your job to impact your neighborhood to impact your church amen wake up sons of God wake up children of God and watch what God is going to do in this last day I challenge you today to, to begin to talk to the Holy Ghost to begin to have established reestablish that relationship that you have with God so that God can move supernaturally in your life and bless you in a miraculous way God bless you and thank you for this time